hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i will take you through the quick steps you can follow to set up a local storage drive using the usb port on your wi-fi routers if you use a wi-fi router and it has a usb port you can connect your usb drive to this port and set up a local storage drive which you can access from all your devices connected to the wi-fi router wirelessly and share your content like pictures documents videos etc to enable this, you should have a USB port on the Wi-Fi router and it should support USB file sharing. To check if your router supports this, you can refer the technical specification of your router. So without any further delay, let me show you how it works. First, you need to connect your USB device to the Wi-Fi router. Mostly Wi-Fi router will have the USB port at the back of the router. As you can see within the picture, we have uh, this router which is, uh, which is from Daylink model dir825 you can connect your uh, usb device to this port which is at the back of the router the moment you connect your uh, device and it is uh, properly connected you will see that the indicator with a usb icon has turned on which means that the usb device was able to connect properly to the router Next, you need to check and update the configurations of the Wi-Fi router to enable USB file storage. It can be done by accessing the IP address 192.168.0.1. This would depend on the router vendor. And next, you need to enter the pass user ID and password to log in to your configurations. Most of the uh, most of the firewalls or configurations will have similar options, but uh, actual options might vary based on the vendor. We need to click on storage. Now we can see that the Windows file sharing is already enabled and the Password for default user root is 123456, which is again the default uh, password. In case you need a different password, you can, you can change it. For this uh, demo, we will keep it as it is. That's all we need to do on the, on the router configurations. Next, we need to go back to our windows and enter the same IP address. The moment we hit on uh, enter, system will ask us for the credential to connect to the USB device, which would be the one which we have set up uh, in configurations. Root 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll select remember my credentials and click on OK. The moment we enter our credentials, we will be able to access the contents of the USB uh, device, which is connected to the router. That's all we need to do. Similarly, you can connect your uh, USB devices to your routers and connect to the USB devices wirelessly from your Windows systems. Sometimes you might receive an error that the that the SMB protocol is not activated or you are not able to access the USB drive. You, in that case, you need to check whether the SMB protocol is enabled within Windows features or not. If it is not enabled, you need to enable it and restart your computer or Windows system to access the USB uh, device through the through router. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this video informative and enjoyed watching it. Do hit like and subscribe button if you did. Also, do let me know whether this worked for you and the devices you were using through comments. Thank you.